In this notebook, we're going to have a look at post-processing and equalized odds. The machine learning problem is the same as previously. It's a classification problem, and we're going to have binary outcomes of 0 and 1. We're going to start by loading in the data set and also importing all the libraries that we need. We can see here we have a scalon to build the machine learning model, fork tables to actually download some data, and AIF360 to perform the post-processing. Obviously, you could also implement this from scratch, but here we're taking a shortcut and showing you how to do it with this particular library. So here we're specifying the features that we want to use, and also we're going to select a subset, two subpopulations, group one and group eight from our data set. Then we're going to start the exploratory data analysis. So if you want to learn more about how to go in depth with the exploratory data analysis, we already have a recording of that available. Here I'm going to go relatively quickly because the point that we're interested in is actually the post-processing of our predictions. We're splitting by categorical and numerical features. And again, this is done because we eventually need to build a model and the different types of features, the different data types need to be prepared differently. Here we're checking if the model target is part of the model features. We need to make sure that the model target never ends up in the set of features that we use to train the model. We also need to ensure that there are no missing values, and we're actually going to deal with this as part of the pipeline. Here, a bit of plotting so we can look at the target distribution and also create a short list of features where we want to create bar plots. So what we can see here is the target distribution, and then just below we have the feature distributions. This is the final point where after looking at the features, we need to finalize which features or attributes we want to take into the model. And then we need to create the train validation and test split. Once we have the different data splits, we can pass them through the pipeline and column transformer. So column transformer will be the part that actually performs the transformation for us. And then pipeline is the wrapper that combines everything with the model. Here we can see we have a certain preparation step for numerical features, a slightly different preparation for categorical features, and then we combine everything with a logistic regression model at the end. So once we have the pipeline at this point, it's still empty. We need to pass in some data. We need to pass in our X train and Y train to actually learn the parameters. And once the model is trained, we can then start making predictions. Here, what we're doing is we're actually creating a binary label data set because we'll need this to actually post-process our results. So you see here, we're joining the data that we have. We're specifying what the label names are, what the protected attributes are, favorable and unfavorable outcomes. And we're doing so for our train data frame and our predictions. We're doing this for both of the data sets because we want to compare ultimately what the change is in the outcomes and plot both of them. If you were to do this in practice, there's obviously no point in repeating it for the original data set and then the equalized odds post-processed data set. This is just so that we can have a comparison and see how many of the labels actually do change and that we can plot them later on as well. Here we can see we're using the equalized odds post-processing. We're passing in what is the unprivileged and what's the privileged group. We also set a seed for repeatability. And then we fit the equalized odds post-processing. And here now we're casting it back into a data frame so we can look at it more easily. And then we're going to repeat the same for validation and test data set. And you can see here some of the adjusted outcomes as printed in a list. So here in this final plot, we're going to join the adjusted predictions. 
so the ones coming from equalized odds post-processing. We obviously also have access to the true labels because this is a data set split that we created. You wouldn't have access to that in a production setting, but we do. We have the ground truth. And then we have the original predictions as well. So the ones before the equalized odds post-processing was applied. And then we can plot all three to compare the results and see how different they look. So you can see here, this is the ground truth. And then we have the adjusted outcomes and you can clearly see the stark difference here, especially in group one. And then the final outcome, which we didn't plot, is the original predictions. So you could also compare those and see how does the ground truth compare to the adjusted outcomes and how does that compare to the predictions if you hadn't adjusted. In fact, we have seen that plot already in the logistic regression notebook earlier because we did not make any adjustments to the outcomes there.